Hello everyone. In today's video, we will go through the left after join in Power BI. So we will use the natural left outer join DAX function for this. So what does a left join mean? Left join means that, for example, we've got employee and employee salary and we left join on the employee table. It will give us all the records in the employee table and it will find the corresponding columns which match with the columns in the employee table and anything that is not matching, it will not return. Uh, let's clarify this with an example. So I've got the employee table here and I've got 10 employees and I've got the employee salary table, which has got some employees with their salaries. Now the employees marked in yellow don't exist in employee salary table. And these employees don't exist in the employee table. So a left outer join would typically give me these six records and then the salary for these six records. So I've got this data here with me where I've got the employee ID, employee name and salary. So let's just go back here. I've got the employee table with me and I've got the employee salary with me. And you can see the last three rows don't match. Ramit, Pat and Tim and Bing, Anna and Lisa and Joe. So what we'll do is we'll just create a new table. I've already done it here, but let's do it. So I'll call it the left outer join example. And we'll use the nat natural left outer join function. And you can see it says that the function is included in Power BI. And it works as you natural left outer join and then you give the table name left join table and the right join table. So we will just say employee and employee salary and hit enter. And as you can see here, it gives me all the records in the employee table. But for employee salary, it only gives me the matching records. We could reverse this to see what happens if I, let's say if I type employee salary here and this side I just change to employee. And let me just hit enter. And you can see now that it gives me, because the employee salary is on the left, left side of the join, it gives me all the records with employee salary and only the corresponding matching records from the employee table. And we could go ahead and just go and build a graph on that. So I could just click the tablex. And I'll just change the modeling, uh, the summarization type for employee ID. I don't want any summarization. And similarly for employee ID, and now what I could do is I could grab the employee ID, employee name, employee salary. But you can see here that it, so as you can see here, it is, we are missing the data for, uh, Joe, Bing, Anna and Lisa. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video.